It is a pathway to success, and many people find it during one of the most elegant holiday traditions. New at 530, 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals why this luncheon is far more important for the people who make the meal. The waters are poured, tables are set, and the El Prado's ballroom is ready for the 20th Thanksgiving Gourmet Luncheon. A chance for more than 300 people to get a head start on turkey and cranberries and the holidays. It's the Prado, you know. It's an annual meal prepared by up and coming chefs like Mua Ebot. Boom. I'm really, really proud of, of what we've done, but we haven't done it ourselves. Leslie Cohn owns the Prado and has hosted the luncheon for two decades. Each year, Chef, listen up. she partners with the culinary arts program to get people like Diana Osuna. Yeah, and I'll start setting them up for you. It's a great opportunity for them if they have a passion. A passion for a career. We're putting our appetizers on trays. After high school. Put that over there, Chef. These chefs come from Garfield High School in downtown San Diego. I get to learn new things. This luncheon is a chance for them to see the results of their work by feeding people who in turn support their culinary arts program. It's great that we're here raising money for our school. But it goes deeper. A bakery station. Students get a real world look at a possible career. Feels good. Nick Mojica and Gonzalo Fonseca are Garfield graduates who now work at the Prado. Yeah, it was worth it. I was able to build connections. I'm uh, heartened by the fact that we have made a difference in a lot of children's lives, young adult lives. The Cohen Restaurant Group has helped raise half a million dollars for Garfield's program, support that could turn into a career for people like Mua. So actually, do you want to become a chef? In Balboa Park, Joe Little, 10 News. 360 people dined at the Prado this afternoon. Anything they didn't finish was packaged and delivered to homeless shelters. Do love that program.